Hello guys, this is Jerry speaking. Welcome to this uh, Bedtime Stories, episode 35th edition. And today, we're going to read you this bedtime story on Lilo and Stitch. Now, for those who don't know, um, uh, it was based off of the movie by um, um, Chris Sanders, who produced it and directed the movie, by the way. I can't remember, but we'll see what happens. And anyway, let's read you a story about this now, and I have to get ready for sleep after this is over. So there you go. I have to edit the outtakes um, for this after this is over. So there you go on that. But there you go. We'll see what happens. Anyway, let's go jump on the bandwagon and read the story right now and get it over with. Lilo and Stitch, a real storybook um, adopted by... Um, Catherine Hopka, illustrated by the D D Disney Storybook Artist, designed by Disney's Global Design Groups, published by Random House. Okay. Chapter one, Experiment two to six. Okay, for uh, out of space, um, the Grand Constitutional was holding a trial. Okay, and his name is Stitch, by the way. Um, a scientist named Jumbo was accused of creating a dangerous experiment, okay? Jumbo admitted that he had created something that he, a creature he called Experiment 626. I'm sorry, Mark, just a moment. He bought proof, file proof, he can think faster, it can, um, a super cumber, Jumbo said. He's only mission to, uh, destroy everything he touches. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, see the thing here? That's the first page in the book. Now, based on the movie, that was amazing. So there you go. The grand uh, kind of woman uh, sent Jumba to jail. I don't know what happened. And told Captain Jongju to take Experiment 226 to a distant planet. Jongju's ship... Uh, had gone from before uh, Spent 226 broke free. Rather, Gantu said, uh, uh, fire on sight, but it was too late. Experiment 226 has escaped um, in the Red Police Cruiser. He had, and he was headed straight for Earth. This is sad in the story like this. This is all alien wise, so there you go on that, ladies and gentlemen. So there you go. Experiment Susie Six was so dangerous to that the Grand Council woman wanted to destroy the place where he was landed. But Agent Pleakley, uh what who was an ex expert at planet Earth, stopped her. Uh Earth was protected while life was reversed. He explained, we have, used, we have been using it to rebuild the uh, masculine population. So the class woman fed Jamba, free Jamba, okay, uh, to jail and sent him to completely recapture experiment 266. Okay. That's the only problem I have for this story, but whatever. Next page. We got, meanwhile, on the small Hawaiian island, a little girl named Lilo was supposed to wait on, on the outside her little classroom for a big sister, Nani. But when Nani arrived, Lilo was gone. Come on, really? Moving on. Nanny went ran home. She when she got there, she looked rode through the doggy door, saw and saw that she Lilo was look lying in the floor listening to records. Okay. Nanny tried the door, but it won't budge. Lilo have nailed it to shut, but whatever. Lilo Nanny's called open the door, but not Lilo wouldn't. It was sad to hear Lilo 
and Nani have a sister fight, you know. This is the story behind it, so there you go. It's kind of sad, but it's just me, of course. Next page. Nanny and Leela were operands, so they lived by themselves. That day, a social worker named Corba Bubbles, never heard of him, but I've seen him in the movie, but whatever, was coming to the house. If Nanny seemed like a bad guardian, he could take Leela to live with uh, another family. God, no. Corba arrived to find uh, Nanny trying to pry, pry the door. Open, he would not take the plea, please, uh, at all. Now you have to climb through the window and let him into the house. Do you often leave your sister home alone? Corbett asked if he, if he stared at the stove and it was covered with uh, pots overflowing with bubbling gulp. Okay. Um, it was sad overall in this book, so. In the beginning, of the movie went to be sad, but overall, it was a big mistake. So there you go. Corporal asked Leo a lot of questions. Nay tried to single single to Leo how she should answer. Okay, but Leo got confused. Her answers made things seem even worse. Okay. Stupid idea. Call me next time you're left her alone. Corbett told Lilo. Then he turned to Nanny. In case you're wondering, this did not go well. He said sternly. You have three dogs to change my mind. Nanny was worried and upset. Do you want to be taken away? She asked Lilo angry about after Kerba left. This is unfair for that story. This is un. This is ha not happening. That unfair business for that one bit in the story. You know. Mm mm. Nope. Next page. Later, Nanny went to Leo's room and for to apologize for getting angry. We're a broken family, aren't we? Um. Uh. Leo asked sadly. Maybe a little, um, Nanny give her sister a hug and then tickle her, okay? Leo laughed. Then the lab, the lights flickered and Leo lights out, looked out of the window. A falling star. She cried, okay? And she shook, she shooed Nanny out of her room where she was going to make a secret wish. Okay, I need someone to be my friend. We all whispered as she knelt by her bed. Nanny was listening to the hall. She felt so, so sad that Lilo was lonely. Yeah, it's a wild thing, but you know, when I was a little, little kid, I have seen lots of movies besides Lilo and Stitch. Like Country Bears or... You know the drill. I love these movies like... Babe, she pig. I know Babe's alone in this movie, but you know, let me continue on with this story. I have seen lots of movies that really have made little kids be alone sometimes when they not have parents around, although uh, forever. Cause, but Babe, for instance, yeah, her, the pig was dying. You know, the marble pig. You know, and that was confusing. You know, that was the one of the confusions right there. And that was the point about making this happen in Leo and Stitch. So, there you go. I just want to make this ha happen to you. I wanted to get this back in the line up for the Jeff Craig review. But in this but this is the episode I'm talking about. Bedtime Stories episode for episode 35 right now. So, there you go. Next, uh, before I get to the next page, let me show you this picture. You see his? Um, this is a silly, this is a ticklish picture of Nanny and Leo together. Now this is a Wyan thing, and when I was a kid, I have seen much of a Wyan people like Leo and Stitch and the movies, and uh, 
course, I have seen uh, movies like um, that relate to Y. Like, eh. oh, and Sesame Street goes to Y, and in nineteen seventies. And I have a friend uh, who is a t speech teacher, goes by the name of Miss Jenkins, who have a daughter who's originally born in Hawaii, named her Helen, and. Now she moved, she had her family move to Germany now for this part of Europe, you know, just to let you know and everything. Next page, not far away, Experiment 226 uh, was called out of smart Barney Claire. What Leo saw had been a falling star at all. Anyway. It was the P Red Police Cursor crashing into Herb, and it was Hawaii. Sad to know it, but, you know, that's just me. I'm going to show you the picture about Stitch right now. It was, it was having two arms and one, le two, two forms and two legs. That was incredible for this picture. Lilo's new friend. That's the next chapter, by the way. Some truckers found experience 266, thinking he was a dog. But they uh, uh, took him into the animal shelter. The next day, Lilo and Nanny went to that same uh, shelter. Um, Nanny thought a dog might be keeping Lilo from uh, feeling lonely. Meanwhile, experience 266... Two, ah, Experiment 226 was trying to get to escape. He crawled along uh, the ceiling toward the show door. When he got outside, he saw Jumma and Pleakley waiting for him. He quickly crawled back inside. Now, I like I did for this Stitch picture. Now, when it comes with Nana and Lilo in the time, so I want to say. This is amazing when it comes to all of this, so there you go. And adopt today. Those animals are scared, you know? We are walking the Neo. Okay. Uh, all the cases look empty. The, the animals were hiding from Experiment 266 uh, when he saw Leo coming. The alien uh, pulls in his extra legs. Um, Stitch bang. I've seen Muslim League movies because they are live art in 1985 with the animation, the failed animation of Stitch. But then that's the case. But there you go. His attendance uh, in the back spikes. He figured that he looked like a dog. The little girl uh, might help him escape. Hi, Leo said happily. I'm sorry I have the difficulties, but I don't know what's going on. But anyway, let's continue on. I don't know what's going on, but this is the same picture. But, you know, these are great pictures you saw in Leo and Stitch, but scary animals, you know, just have a lot of fun. You know? My next page. Um, Nanny and the animal shoulder went more shock when Lilo came out with her new best new best friend. Does it have Okay, yes, um Lilo said he's, he's good. I can tell his name is G5 in a moment, Stitch. Okay. Uh Nanny Sion gave Lilo two dollars so he can shoot but buy Stitch. This is the scariest moment of I ever seen in the movie of Lilo and Stitch history, you know. I have seen live Stitch moments when it comes to that mission with the career Chris Sanders. And he did uh, How to Train to Gravity, which by the way, it's going to be the last one this year. So, there you go. Now, this one is going to be a little bit different than these pages. So, he, and Lilo closes his eyes. So, that's I don't know what happened here, so there you go. Next page. Outside, Jump and Pleakley were still waiting. They weren't allowed to hurt humans, thank God, so they would, could uh, 
on watching Frustrations and Stitch Left with Lilo. Why? But now he went to work and Lilo and Stitch took off all the wild lights out, 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 out of the island. They were, uh, they went, Stitch seemed to get, get into trouble. Okay. It was not going to be amazing because you had to be careful what Stitch, uh, want, if you see Stitch in the picture. Because if you see Stitch in the picture inside of that, in Disney World and Disneyland, uh, and, 19, and, and everywhere attractions, you may break your camera. Or Stitch may break your camera, excuse me. But there you go. If Brent's watching this now, so there you go. I may have some difficulties with this video, but there you go. Next page. Later, Lilo and Stitch sat in the Lyle restaurant where Nanny and the waitress and her friend David um, uh, was a fire dancer, okay? Um, uh, J Lilo drew a picture of Stitch. This is you. Uh, she told him, uh, this is your baddest level. It, you're uh, usually high for someone you size. We need to fix that. I, not necessary, David, but, you know, the movie is, is, is going to be amazing at first. But when it comes to the all-time favorite thing... That's fine, but you know that's just me, of course. Next page. Jabba and Pleakley were in the restaurant, uh, to as well. Okay, they're dressed as tourists. They're they're trying to capture Stitch, but it was too quick for them. Um, they uh, when Stitch tried to swallow Pleakley Pleakley's head. The restaurant manager came running over. Nanny, is, is that a good your dog? He demanded. Then she, you have got to be kidding me! It's no use. It's no use. I'm, I'm done. So sorry. This is not happening for Jumbo and Pleakley. But these are aliens I'm talking about. The dog is has nothing to do with this alien, so be warm for this movie. So there you go. Nanny was to take Stitch back in the animal shelter. Why? The movie is not. It's a, it, did, it came out with a TV series called Lilo and Stitch a series, and now you're gonna screw it up big time? Seriously? Lilo couldn't believe her ears. We adopted him. We about, about, about Ahona. Dad said Ahona means family, family means nobody. And I maybe agree with that. You know? Nobody gets left behind. Nah, finish. With a sigh, she agreed with that Stitch could stay for now. That's a good thing, but that's a good point with Stitch and Lilo's thing, you know? And that's a player behind Stitch and Lilo, you know? But that's a backwards thing from my side. But anyway, moving on. We got the... Why are the parents doing there? That night, Lilo showed Stitch the bed she had made for her, for him, okay? Okay, uh, he liked hers better, but she had crawled up into it and grabbed her pillow. Okay, moving on. But beneath, it would photograph a nanny, Lilo, and her parents, okay? Be careful of that, Lilo cried, and grabbed the photo. She, Stitch, grabbed, saw the photo was saw that Leo was upset. After Leo fell asleep, Stitch looked at the books. Um, okay. Um, uh, he found one called The Ugly Duckling. I saw it's gonna be the wrongest, the best story we're gonna have seen. Not the worst, but it's amazing. So there you go. 
uh, and woke Lilo up with it to show it to her. He's sad because he he's all alone. Lilo explained explicitly, because pointed to the picture of the little duck. Quack, quack, quack. Yeah. Explaining that story, but there you go. That picture is amazing. So, and too bad the parents weren't there at the time. So, there you go. And sorry we hear flashing the camera lights in the background. So please ignore that. That there you go. The next day, Corba Bubbles came back. Had you lost your job? He told Nanny. Um, then just then Stitch appeared and threw in the book at him. Okay. This is wrong. Okay. Nanny promised she would find a new job, and Leo said she would teach Stitch to behave. Nanny went out looking for a job, but she didn't have so much luck. Okay. This is sad that I'm not going to believe that Stitch is going to be having the misbehavior. Okay. Leo did not didn't have much time, luck trained Stitch either. Um. What? As seeing angels, um, you can take take a picture of Angel in the Leo and Stitch here, but not Stitch. Hello? Move it on. But anyway, continue on. Later, Nanny and Leo meet David at the beach. We had, we had been having a bad day. Leo told him, hey, I may not... Be a doctor, David said. But I know the, there is no better cur with a sore face uh, than a couple of boards and some ch ch choices waves. Okay, Nanny agreed, and then we'll just go serving. And that was a perfect idea. You know, have an alien serve like that, you know. Everyone uh, had a great time, even Stitch, who hated water. Why? I love water, because it tastes good in my blood, you know, because look at that, LGBM, you know. But then Jumba appeared. He tried to capture Stitch by pulling him underwater. He almost pulled Willow underwater as well. But Nana saved her, okay? Stitch escaped from Jumba. What? And, but he couldn't swim. He began to sink uh, to the bottom of the ocean. This had to be the most disagreement right there. So there you go. David rescued Stitch. Okay. Everyone's okay. But Corbin Bubbles had seen Lilo um, jet pull underwater. You need to think about what what's best for Lilo. He's told Nanny even removes you from the, the from the picture. This is sad, you know. It's like there have been occurred of something David told Stitch. Sadly, Stitch realized he was pulling the little family apart. That's not okay, I guess. But this is not happening. It should have been adopted, so there you go. But, you know, that's just me. Of course, but this is a sad moment between 2018 and 2019. So, there you go. Next page. Anyway, that night, Nanny taught about what Kerba has said. Maybe Leo was going to be better without, without her. This is sad. Ugh. Nanny told her little sister Colson that sang her a beautiful Hawaiian song. Um, later, Lilo uh, took a look at the photos of her parents. Oh, I means family, she told Stitch. When family means nobody left you, let, gets left behind. Lilo sighed. Um, but if you want to leave, you can. This is cool. Okay. Stitch know that it would be best for Leo if he, he, he left. Oh. No. Unfair. Unfair. Move on. 
He told he took Ugly Duck and climbed out of the window and disappeared disappear in the night. He hoped hop in the he would find his own family. And this is sad for Stitch, you know? Having a lost friend with, with, with Lilo and Stitch for this movie? So, what's the point here? Seriously. Next page. New rules. Well, everyone, early the next morning, Pleakley receive a call on the Archstrike communicator. The Grand Councilwoman was not pleased with to hear that Stitch had uh, still not been captured. She fired Jamba and Pleakley. Now that we have, now that we do it my way, Jamba told Pleakley happily. This is unfair. This is unfair. The next morning, Leo t had told Nanny that Stitch was gone. Just then, David arrived. Nanny he cried. I think I found you a job, but we have no hurry. Nanny was excited to stay here for a few minutes. Um, she told Lilo and locked the door and don't answer it for you, for anyone, okay? Um, what? Whatever. Meanwhile, Jumba had found Stitch and was chasing him through the forest. Stitch headed for Leo's home and was jumping right behind him. Okay, unfair, unfair. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that page right now. Okay. Yeah, okay. Moving on. They got Hamsterville and now they got to do this in any way, form, shape, or form. Oh, God. Stitch ran to Leo's house. Ha! Jumba cried, crashing into the house. Hey, I am behind you. Little friend won't help. Leo grabbed the phone and made a call. Hello, Trouble Bubbles, she said with a gap. Aliens are cra attacking my house. They want my dog. Um, quickly tried to stop Jumba uh, and Stitch from, from um, fighting. Why? Okay. Yeah, but they wouldn't uh, listen to him. Quickly grabbed Lilo and and ran out of the house just as Jumbo and Stitch blew it into bits. Kaboom. We're almost done here. Just to make sure if I can make book bedtime stories a big success. So there you go. But anyway, let's continue on. Nana arrived just in the time to see Kirk of Bubbles putting bu Lilo into the car. I don't know what just happened, you know? While well, Nanny agreed argued with the uh, Corba, um, Lilo ran away into the woods. They when um they saw when she was gone, Corba and Nanny ran uh, to find her. Meanwhile, Stitch found Lilo. He pulled out his arm and tennis and tricked his legs to show Lilo that he was an alien. Oh my god. Unfair. Unfair. You ruined everything, real cried. Get out of here, Stitch. No! You can't get out you can't let him get out of here. No, this is not fair. This story has nothing to do with this movie, so that is wrong. If you get this right, if you get this right, then mm -mm, no. We got the one almost there, so there you go. We got 50 a page, and all we get is a shot of Stitch and Lilo. Moving on, suddenly Cap kind of capture appeared. The grand, uh, uh, country woman had sent him to Earth and to capture Stitch. He tossed a new net, uh, a net over Stitch and Lilo 
Nanny, who had just arrived, tried to stop him. Stitch managed to escape. He tried to save Lilo, but it was too late. Jenny, Gentooth, Gentooth, excuse me, spaceship was took off with the, with uh, Lilo trapped inside. Okay, this movie's been worth making me have to be worse, you know. You saw this, I don't know. But this is unfair. This is unfair, you know. Let's say, friends at least, fifty second page. Let's see what happens. At last, Nay caught up to Stitch. Where's Lilo? As she commanded. As Stitch demanded to explain, jump up, jump off of uh, the bushes and grab him. Quickly pulled out his arrogant commands and called the Grand Council Woman. Experiment 26 is in custody, he said. Nay stared at the aliens in an in, and in amazement, where's uh, Lilo? She cried again. <sighs> this is not happening. This is just not happening. So, no. Okay, this is unfair. Nana told her sister uh, that she was gone forever. Jamba quickly and Stitch uh, stared to walk away. Stitch uh, suddenly stopped uh, and walked back to Nani. Aha means family, he said. Family means nobody got left behind. Nani finished. Okay. Uh, Stitch, Stitch, excuse me. Um, Convent, Jamba and quickly to release him. But uh, they had to release rescue Lilo. Lilo, excuse me. This is why I fought for this story, you know. It's gonna be big enough for the to finish off the story right here. So there you go. Next last pages. Anyway, John Bo took the, the friends of the place uh, where he had him the spaceship where he first came to Earth. Okay. They climb on board and few of the Gantu ship. Okay, how do you get out? Uh, Gantu shouted when um, he saw a stitch in the ship's uh, controls. He fires lasers and chases the spaceship. Okay, Stitch uh, jump out of Jumba's ship to try to rescue Lilo, but he fell down, down, down toward the ground. Okay. And that was the part where you get uh, uh, some issues where the guy escaped for the time. So that was part of the issues where it's not fair in outer space. So there you go. <sighs> I like the part where it says, Oh, I mean, means family the best. So there you go. What do we do? Now you ask. Uh, hope for a miracle. Jeroboam replied. That's all we can do. Hmm. Jo Captain Jomdu's ship races um, a tor downward and flew right up past Stitch. Don't leave me, okay? Lilo cried. Um, Stitch heard Lilo and, and quickly developed a plan. And he blasted himself into Gonzo's ship, rescued Lilo, and took her back into Jomba's ship, spaceship, okay? That is cool. And that is way far up with this, you know. And yeah. Still have, I still have like four more pages, five more pages, excuse me, left. Jump a ship landed in the ocean. David was surveying, okay, nearby. Can we g give us a, a ride to sh store? We'll um, call. David's a little confused at the sight of the aliens and, um, but he nodded. Sure, he said, but I have to think, uh, take make make two trips. Okay. This Stitch is awesome because Stitch is the best part in this book. You know, this movie is based on the movie, so there you go. Last three pages, so there you go. The 
Grand Constable Woman uh, was way on the beach. He they take him to my ship. Okay. She commanded her guard moved the tower to stitch. Snitch hug Lilo. This is my family, he said. Um, then Corba reminded Lilo and that she had the adoption papers from the animal shelter. If you take him, you're stealing, Lilo told the country woman. The country woman realized Lilo was right. The, this is creature has been sent to the, the life of the Excel. She announced on Earth. This is happiness right there. So, it's the last part of the story. So, there you go for this movie. So, be on the lookout for this, but there you go. And, there you go. Got this last page in the book, and that is, of course, a Thanksgiving feast. Okay. Stitch was happy to stay. We was, uh, was, uh, happy to keep, uh, him. Nanny was happy that because Corpa Bubbles agreed that it was you and St Lilo and remind him together. Even Jumba and Pleakley were happy, okay? Um, the Grand Council woman had left him behind on Earth and um, they got to stay with Lilo and Nanny as well, okay? Um, they were one big out of the world family and that's the end of the story and that's the Thanksgiving piece from night from I don't know what exactly, but whatever. And that's Lilo and Stitch. What I think about this book, it was amazing. So far, this book would be a success. Bedtime Stories episode 35, that wraps up for that. Stay tuned for the next one, which is going to be another story I couldn't describe as of yet, but we'll see what happens. But until next time, this is Jerry saying goodbye. Peace out, baby. We'll get more bedtime stories for you guys very soon. Bye, Jeff Ross saying out. See ya.